Good day, everybody, and welcome. I wanted to share a little project in this video that I was inspired to build um, out of personal interest, but it yields some results that I think a lot of you will find pretty interesting. Basically, I built a simulator that simulates 10,000 players grinding Araxi until they complete a target Nox weapon. I'm a software engineer by trade, and I have a lot of forever projects ongoing in Unity, a popular game development engine. It's been a while since I had time or energy to build something new like this, and I was inspired one day when someone in RuneScape was talking about uh, kill simulators that other people have built, so I managed to put this together pretty quickly. Here's how it works. Uh, this simulates 10,000 players grinding Araxi until they have obtained at least one leg top, one leg middle, one leg bottom, and one add-on piece. Uh, so the web, eye, or fang. In this case, since I'm going for the web on my iron account personally, I set the web drop rate to the drop rate of fighting Araxi with melee, so 1 in 240, and the eye and fang drop rates to the default of 1 in 480. Specifically, the simulated players start on the top path until they get the leg top, then grind the middle until the leg middle drops, and then the bottom until the leg bottom drops. And then they keep going if there's been no target add-on piece drop yet. Uh, so basically the simulation for each of those 10,000 players stops when all three legs, uh, leg pieces are obtained and the web. So here's how I visualized it, here's what it looks like. Um, the big takeaway is the percentage of simulations with the bow complete section for a specific number of total kills. Uh, so basically the way to read this is about 48 or 49 percent of simulated players who got between 200 and 219 Araxi kills got enough drops to complete a Nox bow, so about half. Just shy of 71 percent of the simulations that got 300 to 319 kill count completed a Nox bow as well. Um, a lucky 15 percent or so got the drops to complete a Nox bow within 100 to 119 kill count, which is very low. And about 95% of all the simulations completed a Nox bow by the time they reached 700 uh, to 719 kill count. So that means that there's a very unlucky 5% of the simulations that haven't uh, completed the bow yet and had to keep grinding. These numbers hardly change when I rerun the simulator over and over because 10,000 is a very solid sample size. The bars in the graph show the amount of simulated players who completed a bow on the y-axis and the kill count that they completed it at on the x-axis. The highest occurrence of simulations completing a Nox bow is represented in the three highest columns here, which actually represents the range of 120 to 160 uh, kill count. And we can see that, yeah, as per the data, more than half the simulations completed the bow by 200 kills and about half so I'd keep going. I also went an extra step and made a handy button here that just simulates one player at a time grinding the Nox bow to completion with a bit more detail on what kind of drops they got and how many kills they had to spend on each of the paths in the Araxi encounter. So I can hit this button and essentially just simulate a fresh account starting this grind for the first time. Most results are expected, but some are outright cringy. It really hurts as I've clicked through this to see the first two leg pieces dropped within like 50 kills, but the last one taking 300 or more. Then there are some simulations that complete the whole bow within like 50 kills. I know it hurts you too, because we've all been there or know others who have with various bosses. So that's the simulator. Um, so besides just for the fun of it, what's the point of this very specific calculator or what else can we get from this? Uh, there are a few more important takeaways, actually, with respect to RNG and luck, and I also have plans to create at least one more calculator for another boss that'll be a lot more complicated. Not too long ago, I published a video about RNG in games in general, but specifically focused on RuneScape. RNG stands for Random Number Generator, if you don't know already. And in that video, I did my best to explain how RNG works in computing in general, and offered thoughts as to why we hear often about a lot of extreme cases of luck in RuneScape. We often hear about players that get a boss pet uh, after like three kills or take 6,000 kills or whatever to complete a boss log that should statistically take like 2,000. Anyway, that video spurred a lot of discussion, especially from statistics and engineer buffs that work with RNG a lot, which was really awesome, actually. Uh, one of the interesting points that came out of all that was the idea of a fallacy in uh, stories and anecdotes of player luck. 
basically um, what that means is players who get drops with like average or expected luck are not making as much noise about it as players with extreme luck. Players are happy when they get an Araxes Fang after 200 kills, but it's like, yay, that sounds about right. Players who get a Fang after 6 kills or 600 kills though, are more likely to have a big wow response and are more likely to share it and post on Reddit or whatever. What this simulator does to me is show me exactly what I'm looking at on my grind to a Noxpo, and it shows me all the in-between there. Um, because purely statistically speaking, if I'm meleeing Araxi, I should expect a complete Noxpo on my iron in 240 kills. It makes sense, statistically, because each leg piece has a drop rate of 1 in 40, um, and the web has a drop rate of 1 in 240. So after my first 40 kills, I should expect my first leg piece, 40 kills later I get the other one, and it takes another 40 kills to get my last leg piece, and then the web, after about 240 kills. And statistically speaking, I should expect another two leg pieces or so along the way. Makes sense, statistically, but what this simulation shows me is very different. According to this, slightly less than half of players will see a complete Nox bow uh, by 240 kills. There's a huge difference between saying the web has a 1 in 240 chance of dropping versus by the time you get to 240 kills, you've got a 50-50 shot at having the complete bow. If your luck is a little bad and you go out to about 400 kills or so, or let's say 300, it's 70% likely that you'll have a complete bow. And even worse, if you're extra unlucky and have to stretch out to like 500 kills, it's about 90% likely that you'll have the bow by then. A complete Nox weapon is a little complicated as far as RNG goes. It's because it's not just one item that you need, but there are four items that you need to make it, and they have varying drop rates. I was curious to build a simulator for rare single item drops, like Cinderbane Gloves or the Abyssal Scourge, which I'm currently very dry on for my iron, um, and see what the bar graph looks like for that. But I discovered that the RuneScape wiki actually already has a calculator page for the same thing my simulator here shows, just for single drops of a set rarity. What that wiki calculator can't handle, though, is a more complex situation like completing a Noxbow. Um, and it's actually a very good segue into the next calculator I was thinking of making, uh, because it's a lot more complicated. Um, I want to know what the grind for a Bow of the Last Guardian looks like compared to the Noxbow grind, specifically for an iron. Uh, because you can't just buy parts, right? I really hate Araxi as a boss, and although Zamorak the boss is a very different bag of worms to deal with, I'm very curious to simulate 10,000 players going at it for a Last Guardian bow at various enrages. The drop mechanics get complicated and change a lot depending on the enrage, and there is bad luck mitigation mechanic to take into account, so I hope I'm able to build that reliably and accurately because um, I'm genuinely curious to see the outcome. My initial thought is that at lower enrages or normal mode, it's a much rougher grind to complete a Last Guardian bow specifically, compared to completing a Nox bow. Starting at 100 enrage though, bad luck mitigation starts to take effect at Zamorak and drop rates improve. My starting feeling is that the Last Guardian bow will take a lot longer to grind than a Nox bow, even at high enrages, but the other rare drops along the way will be much better than the crap you get from Araxi, since Zamorak drops some of the best ability codexes and vestments of Havoc. I'm nearly done with the simulator, actually, for Zamorak, so keep an eye out for that video as well. Alrighty, that's all I have for now. I will make another video, like I said, as soon as my Zamorak simulator is ready, and I will be very excited to share that. Um, I've also posted about this um, Araxi simulator on Reddit. I'll link that in the description below if you're curious as to the discussion there. Um, I hope this has been interesting for you, if you're still watching, and I really appreciate it if you are. I hope that this has given you something else to think about as far as luck and drop rates are concerned and what you can look forward to for certain grinds. And if you generally enjoyed this and want to see other interesting RuneScape content, please consider liking this video and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.